Hey guys, I just want to show you guys one more trick for uh, dealing with uh, the background of your page. Um, it's sometimes nice uh, when you have uh, a layout kind of kind of like this, where maybe you'll have uh, a, a page centered in in the middle of your browser window, and uh, you don't want to have um, empty space on the left and right of of your site. So um, a nice effect sometimes is to have this horizon line uh, where it, it sort of changes tone or something like that or uh, maybe you'll have like a different texture or a different color up here and then uh, then it changes down here um, it sort of divides the page nicely visually as well and uh, this is a pretty easy trick for uh, dealing with that and uh, if you've been following along you'll uh, I've done two other video tutorials here uh, one for centering the page in the middle of your um, of, of the browser window that will center it regardless of your screen size and then uh, there's another one on um, adding in to uh, sort of a two column layout like we have here um, but for now I'm just going to show you guys uh, quickly this background trick so uh, what we want to do is uh, I have sort of my uh, layout here in Photoshop and I want to grab uh, a, a thin slice of the background so this uh, this only needs to be uh, one pixel wide um, and uh, really I only need this uh, top uh, dark brown portion because I could deal with uh, this lighter color uh, with with CSS afterwards um, or uh, actually what I'll do is I'll just grab a, a little bit of it uh, just so I can show you guys uh, what I'm talking about here uh, but I'll, I'll grab a thin slice, uh, and if you had uh, maybe a texture or something, you might want to grab a, a, a bigger slice to get some variation in that texture. But since there's no texture here, it's fine. Uh, just have the the one uh, pixel that that will repeat itself all the way across. So I'm gonna uh, grab that with my marquee tool, and I'll say copy merged, and I'm gonna flip back over to Dreamweaver, and all I want to do is I'll just paste it anywhere in my page, it doesn't matter, and I'll choose a GIF image uh, because uh, I only have a couple colors in that image and this will keep it uh, nice flat colors and it will also uh, leave my file size pretty small. That's the other advantage to this technique is that uh, uh, you're saving a lot of uh, download download time for the user who has to come and look at this look at your site he doesn't have to download a, a huge image um, and uh, it'll be pretty fast for them so uh, I'll just say OK and this will import it into my site for me if if you've already set up your site I'll just call this bg.gif okay and I'll just say OK for now okay so it imported it into my page and uh, I'm just gonna delete that because it's kinda messing up on my layout and so uh, now you'll see the, the images down here in my site. What I want to do though is I'm going to edit the style for my, my body tag, which is where I had set this color on here previously. So I'll double click that, the body, and I'll come over here to background and I want to set my background image to that um, bg.gif that we just imported. I'll say OK. And if we hit apply, we can see what's happening here and uh, this is why I wanted to leave a little bit of that lighter color in. You can see that it's repeating horizontally but it's also repeating vertically and we don't want it to repeat vertically we just want it to repeat horizontally and, uh, and it's easy to change that in uh, CSS we'll change our background repeat to repeat X and that way it will repeat along the X axis and not the Y axis which means it will just just repeat horizontally so if I hit apply now, you'll see that it's only repeating uh, horizontally. Uh, but the problem that we're still seeing is that our the background color we had initially set is a little bit off for, um, from what, what it's supposed to be. Uh, and it's easy to change that actually just right here in Dreamweaver. Uh, one way I can do it, I could either copy that, um, I could sample the color in Photoshop and, and copy the color code and just paste it in here. There's an easy way to do it in Dreamweaver as well. I can uh, just put pull this little arrow down and 
uh, it brings up a, a color sampler here and I can just uh, hover over the color and click that and it automatically will detect it for me. And now I've also set a background color in addition to the image and uh, if I hit apply you'll see that now that um, it's all it's not repeating vertically and uh, the color underneath it is uh, the, the one that matches the, the background the light background so that's uh, that's basically the technique for doing that and uh, you get this nice horizontal bar effect that will occupy the full browser window and uh, it'll be a, a nice effect for your page that you can use